Hey Cancer, what's up? Alright, let's see. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're gonna have a look at what are the energies between you and the person you're dealing with. Alright, Cancer. <clears throat> what I'm getting here is that you clearly see this connection as a very toxic one. Alright, I feel your heart broke, yes. But uh, you healed yourself, you know. There's a lot of healing energy out here where you healed yourself. You saw things clearly for what it is. There was a lot of confusion once upon a time. But that was always because I feel cancer for a lot of you, you were daydreaming. There was a lot of wishful thinking. There was a lot of daydreaming from your side, okay. Like I want this with them. I want that with them, okay. But now it's like you have a reality check. And you realize that this is a connection where things have never been equal. There's never been a balance out here. You've always given more to the connection and always received less. This person probably even took advantage of you, okay? Maybe this person was giving to other people, breadcrumbing you, okay? And they had someone in the side or they had other people that they were giving to, okay? Which is why you never got the love and attention that you deserved. But somewhere, somehow, Cancer, I still feel there is attachment from your side out here, which is very unhealthy, all right? Yeah, clearly, because you've invested so much in the connection, all right? There could be a third, part, third party here, okay? Where this person here was juggling you with them. Or there was just something that was said or something that was done, all right? Which kind of broke your heart. But you healed. You're, you're moving on. It's more like you're... Uh, <clears throat> there's a lot, very strong uh, energy where you are trying to, uh, you know, literally like filter the people in your life. Where, no longer, where you no longer want to be in that place where there's pain, okay, or where there's a heartbreak, or where you have to constantly think about painful memories out here. You're getting out of that. Getting into a very positive place is what I'm getting here, okay. But yes, there is still a little bit of attachment to this person out here, is what I'm getting here. Uh, clarify the devil. Clarify the devil. The Seven of Cups in reverse. Okay. And the Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. See, that's what I'm getting here. I feel that for a lot of you, you guys know this has been a very on and off connection, okay? So what, it starts quickly, ends quickly, Start, starts quickly, ends quickly, okay? And then you're no longer wanting to be party to this. Uh, I feel for a lot of you, uh, because this is a very toxic connection here, you guys don't want to give any second chances to this person out here. But at the same time, I do feel you're not even making a final choice to move on. You've healed from the heartbreak, that's one thing. But somewhere, somehow here, you need to make that final call, okay? That final call is to cut the cords and move on. Now, for a few of you, you must have moved on. I'm talking about the ones who still haven't. We're still keeping things at bay. Again, I said because it's an attachment, right? So you're not really sure if you want to cut the cords and keep moving forward. You're very attached to them. Um, even though you have a reality of what the connection is like, I feel you still have a lot of emotions for them. I feel you still have a lot of love for them. But it's almost like, you know what, you have no one else, okay? And you've always focused on them. So you're putting all your eggs in one basket and there's no one else that you can think of, all right? So you do have a lot of loving intentions towards them, okay? But honestly, Cancer, you're still idealizing the entire situation. You're still not being able to see the situation for what it is. Even if you have clarity out here, you still are focused on that connection, okay? It's like, I still love you. I still want you, okay? You know, it's, it's kind of disastrous you know it's kind of something which is toxic out here but you just can't help it you walked away from any kind of investments i feel you're not investing into this person anymore here you're walking away because you're fed up out here but i feel that you're also coming up as someone who does not want to give this person uh any chances to come back towards you where you know it's like false starts okay too many false starts between you both so again the love is there from your side here but you're still not making that decision of walking away on the spot all right now your person out here let's talk about them this person out here i'm getting two things out here this person is first of all i feel very very um focused on their career their goals their financial goals you know um this person here is wanting to come back towards you all right but again whatever they're coming in towards you with it's again bringing in confusion here you have a reality check and this person's the opposite they still don't have a reality check they're still coming towards you, wanting to create confusion in your life, all right? So again, when this person comes back to, towards you after you walked away, you're going to be like, now what? You know, so this person here has a habit of giving you mixed signals. And that's a control freak out here. You walk away from them, uh -uh, you're going nowhere. 
you're going nowhere. They want long-term investment with you, but it's like an, that energy where they're thinking. Do I want to invest into this? Is it going to take time? Is it going to even come into fruition here? But you're dealing with a control freak here. What's the chariot? Someone out here who wants what they want when they want, all right? And if you don't match up to their energies out here, it's just... See, what's the six of wands here? I feel this person is desperate for your attention. Six of wands here. Seven of cups. So I feel for a lot of you here, A lot of you here this could be a reversal reading maybe this has been the person that you're dealing with okay who probably sees things for what it is they have a reality check here but there's still this uh hesitation to have a second chance with you because there's a lot of negative thoughts out here they know things haven't been balanced out here you walked away and maybe they want a reconciliation but they're not taking action and i feel this is you now i feel this is you i feel you're the one who feels very burdened by this connection you're moving forward from a connection or from a relationship out here which didn't work out Okay, you probably thought this would lead up to marriage or this was a marriage out here, but it, it's just the stability is lacking out here and you're just choosing to move forward. You're taking control of the situation, using all your willpower and strength to control the situation, move away from them out here. I feel that you are very focused on yourself and uh, you're, you know, you're walking away from this person with a lot of strength, with a lot of uh, confidence out here. Okay, it's like, yeah, that didn't work out, that's fine. And uh, I feel that the only reason you're confused is because you still think about them somewhere, somehow, okay? But this person's left a bad taste in your mouth, okay? There's something that you hold a grudge against this person. It is a very strong soulmate connection out here, but somewhere, somehow, it's draining you out. Because instead of making, giving you the happiness that this person was once upon a time here, the, the false starts that you're getting with them out here, it's killing the vibe. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, that's how I feel it is. They're still idealizing the situation. They still don't want to see the real picture here. I feel this is going to be a reversal reading for a lot of you. You know? So this is going to be your person and this is you here. Give it the best possible outcome for cancer and the person they're dealing with. Best possible outcome for cancer and the person they're dealing with. You're very focused on yourself. Doing your best to improve yourself. Improve uh, your work. You're, you're just trying to put in the focus on you. Okay, so there is a chance here where there is going to be some kind of communication here, okay? But it's going to be a missed opportunity for some reason because I feel the person you're dealing with is going to come towards you. They're going to communicate with you. They want answers, okay? Because the connection still remains. It's a very strong connection here. The problem here is it's going to be a missed opportunity or a lack of reconciliation, okay? And the only reason is because you're going to be, you know, very withdrawn out here. You're going to be like, I don't know what to do. See how you're so focused on yourself, right? You've, you've, you've already chosen. you made a decision to move on from a connection that just was not working out in your favor, okay? Maybe a lot of promises were made. Maybe a lot of conversations were made where they thought that, you know, where you guys thought that things would move forward. But it did, okay? What's the hermit? What's the knight of swords? And what's the lovers? Yeah, like I said, this person out here, you still love this person, okay? There's a lot of love here, guys. There's a lot of love here. It's a very strong connection out here, like I said, twin flame connection out here, where no matter what happens, no matter how much you try to detach from this person, right? It's like that energy where I just can't get over you. I don't know why, but I just can't. It's because they feel the connection with you too. This person out here is going to come in and communicate with you because they want a new beginning with you. The problem here is that because of your insecurities, you're going to turn out to either be a control freak, okay? And uh, you're just going to ignore them and not respond to them or you're just, just going to buy time. Maybe for a few of you, you don't want to uh, involve yourself in this connection or invest into this because you feel this connection does not bring any kind of stability to you okay which was in the past out here and that's what you feel so yes i'm not saying that this person out here is coming towards you with commitment i'm saying this person is coming towards you because they want a reconciliation they want to start again okay they want a fresh chapter with you but the problem here is you're dealing with someone here who's very um say they want to keep it very light-hearted if you want commitment they don't want to rush into it they want a new beginning with you the love is there but they don't want to rush it okay 
So it's almost like you choose to walk away here and they still want to come back and try this again and again and again. They want to keep trying it, okay? They want to keep wooing you. They want to love bomb you, all right? They realize that it wasn't a balanced connection out here, but it's just someone who's very selfish. I can't let you go, Cancer. I can't let you go. I know it's all toxic. I know uh, I haven't been able to live up to your expectations out here, but I want the hundredth chance with you. I want to try again. Okay, so that's what I have for you. Communication coming in for you guys. Um, it's going to be up to you if you want to entertain this or not. But I feel you're going to be very withdrawn. All right. You may not want to respond to them or you will not. That's what I have for you. Cancer. I hope this reading doesn't mean. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.